Hello everyone. Welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create LEO reports in Jenkins or how you can integrate LEO reports in Jenkins. To integrate LEO reports, we need to follow only three steps and will be done with the LEO report integration in Jenkins. So the very first step is that we need to download the LEO plugin in Jenkins. And for that, what we can do is we need to click on Manage Jenkins over here. Then under Manage Jenkins, we'll go to the Manage Plugins. Click on Manage Plugins. And then go to the Available tab. After that, search for LEO plugin over here. Here you can see it listed the LEO plugin over here. Now to install the plugin, check this checkbox and then I'll click on install. In a few minutes, the plugin will be installed. And if you want, you can restart Jenkins once the installation is complete. But if you don't want to restart, then also it's absolutely fine. So the plugin is installed successfully. Now let me go back to manage Jenkins again. So we are done with the plugin installation. And now I'm going to perform the next step. And for that, I'll go to the global tool configuration under manage Jenkins. So let me click on global tool configuration. Then here, scroll down to the earlier command line. Here we can see the LEO command line. Click on this LEO command line installation. So what we need to do over here is we need to provide the LEO installation path. I have already installed LEO framework in my machine. So I have to provide that path where LEO report is installed in my machine. To provide the path, first let me create a variable name here. I'll name that variable as Allure underscore home. After that, I have to provide the installation directory where Allure is installed. So let me show you where my Allure is installed. This is the location where the Allure framework is installed on my machine under C project Allure. So I'll copy this install location and then I'll provide this location into Jenkins under global tool configuration. Let me go back to the Jenkins and here in the installation directory field, I'll paste the earlier installation location. Here you can see we have one checkbox that is installed automatically. If you want to install earlier framework automatically either by zip file, Maven command or batch command, then you can check this checkbox. This will install the LEO in your machine if it is not available. If this checkbox is checked, then it will always install the latest version of the LEO. I'm going to mark this checkbox as unchecked because LEO is already installed on my VM. I have already discussed in another video that how we can install LEO in our machine. If you want, you can watch that video. The link is given in the description and in the I button above. Now let me save the changes. So our second step is also done. Now to perform the next step, let me go back to the dashboard again. And then here I'll click on a new item. So I'm going to create a new project for LEO report. And I'm going to name that item as LEO report. Then I'll select the project type as freestyle. And after that, I'll click on OK. So a new project has been created in Jenkins with the name as LEO report. And this is the configuration page of the project. Under the configuration, first I'll click on this advanced option. And here I'll check the checkbox 
to use a custom workspace. Here I'll provide the workspace of my project. If your project is placed in the Jenkins workspace itself, then you can avoid this option. But if your project is not placed under Jenkins workspace, then you can choose this custom workspace checkbox and then provide the location of your workspace. This is the location where my project is placed. So I'll copy this location. And then I'll paste this location into the directory field. After that, the next thing which I need to configure is build steps. So let me move to the build step. And here, I'll choose the .NET build project from the dropdown. So first of all, to run the build or to run the test cases, we need to build our project. And because I'm going to run my .NET project, so I have added a build step as .NET build project. This will build the project first. Here, I'm going to use the default .NET SDK to build my project. And then I have to provide the project or solution path. The project or solution path is the same as my workspace, which I have recently copied. So let me provide the same value over here also. Now I have added a build step to build the project. The next thing is to run the test. And to run the test, you can see we have an option over here, .NET run unit test. This step will run the test available in the project. Here, I'm going to provide the same project or solution path. This will run all the tests available in this project. You can choose different build steps based on the nature of your project, because for different types of project, the build step will be different. Now, once the project is built and executed, after that, the next step is to generate the LO report or to generate the execution report. So what we want is, as part of the execution results, is to attach LEO report in Jenkins post execution. And for that, what I need to do is, I'll go to the post build actions. And under the post build actions, let me click on this add post build action. And from here, you can see that we have an LEO report option available. So based on any type of project you have, you have to perform this. That means attaching the LEO report in post build actions. So we are getting this option because we have installed LEO plugin initially from manage plugins. So I'll click on the LEO report. And under the LEO report, what we need to do is we need to provide the path where our LEO reports will be generated. So here we need to provide the location where our LEO reports are generated. Based on your project and configuration, you might be getting LEO reports on different locations. So the same location we have to provide over here so that the plugin can read the report from that location and then can attach the LEO report in Jenkins. If I show you where my LEO reports are getting generated, then here under the bin folder, then I'll go to the release folder, then .NET 6, and then here is the LEO result folder. LEO results will be generated here after each test execution. This is the default location I have chosen for my report generation. If you want, you can change your LEO report location and then same you can provide over here. Here we don't need to provide the absolute location. We can provide the relative location based on the workspace. So I'll start my path after the bin folder. And at last, click on save to save the changes. So we have performed all these steps to configure LEO reports or to integrate LEO reports with Jenkins. And here you can see that now we are getting the LEO report icon, 
because we have added the LAO report as part of our project configuration. And if I click on this link now, then you'll see that it will prompt the error. Because right now we don't have any LAO reports available as part of this build configuration. So once we'll execute our project, then we'll have the LAO reports available here. Now the next thing is to run the project. So I'm going to click on build now to trigger the build. Here you can see the build has been triggered. First, it will build the project as we have added a build step. And after it successfully builds the project, then it will run the test cases because we have added run unit test build step as well. And once the test execution is done, then it will read the LO report from the location where we have provided. And then it will attach those reports in Jenkins. Let me go to this build here so that we can see the logs in the console. Here you can see that the execution is running in the background. You can see here that the browser invoked and the validations are being performed. Navigated to Amazon web page, searching for web driver book, validating the title of the browser. So all these validations are getting performed. Once all the test case execution is done, then we'll get the test result status over here and we'll get the message that LO report is generated. If it is generated successfully, then we'll get the message which says LO reports generated successfully. And if there is any issue with anything, like if you have not provided the correct path of the LO report, or if you have not provided the correct installation location of LO, in that case, we'll receive the error in the logs. But if everything is configured properly, then we'll get the message that LO reports generated successfully. Here you can see that execution is done. All the test cases executed, and this is the number of test cases failed. And these are the number of test cases which are passed. And here you can see that it says LO report generated successfully. Now I'll go back to this build. And here, if I click on this LO report icon, then you can see that it will navigate us to the report. Here is our LO report generated after the execution of the latest build. And now that report has been attached in the Jenkins project. So you can see all the test cases executed. This is the test case which failed. These are the test cases which are passed. So this is how you can integrate LAO reports in your Jenkins project. And now if you want to share this report with the stakeholders, then you can provide this URL of the Jenkins or the URL of the LAO report. So anyone who has access to the Jenkins project, they can see this report. Also, if you go to the build artifacts, then you can see that here the LAO report is also attached as a build artifact. You can download this report zip file and then you can share this zip file among your team. So it totally depends on you how you are going to share the LAO reports with your team. Either you provide the URL to view the LAO reports or you want to share this zip folder. This is how you can integrate LAO reports with Jenkins. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.